I'll always remember the day my fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Burnsides, came into the room with the pinata. Now, a wave of excitement went through us kids because we knew what was inside that pinata. And we all wanted to be first to have a crack at busting it open. Well, Mrs. Burnsides had us push the desk back. She hooked the pinata to the ceiling. And we all raised our hands wanting to be the first. And I was shocked when she chose Darlene. And some of the kids even said, why does Darlene get to go? Because Darlene was the, seemed like the meanest, maddest kid in the room. And Mrs. Burnside says, because I said Darlene goes first. Well, she handed her a bandana and Darlene put the bandana on. Then she handed her the broom handle. And before Mrs. Burnside could step away, Darlene took the first swing. And it cracked Mrs. Burnside's right in the shoulder. Well, a gasp went through the room. But Darlene wasn't finished. She took the second swing and cracked Mrs. Burnside's on the side of the head. And that's when Linda yelled, Darlene is peeking out below the blindfold. Well, a silence went through the room and Mrs. Burnside's collected herself. And I remember thinking, I'm going to see my first murder. But we watched as Mrs. Burnside's picked up the bandana and picked up the broom handle walked behind Darlene and tied the bandana over her eyes, placed the broom handle in Darlene's hand and said, would you please wait till I give you the signal before you swing this time? That was the first time in my life where I got to witness true grace. That was my first experience what real forgiveness looked like. Now I know teachers have to give lots of tests. And how could you ever put that experience on a test? Other than the test of life. And I have to say, over and over when I've been faced with the question of forgiving, I was able to think back to a wonderful fifth grade teacher and I've been able to choose the correct answer.